Hello everyone, Jackson here with the Well Squad. Today we'll be talking about crypto, mainly Bitcoin, just because I've been preaching for so long, regardless of how you feel about Bitcoin at these prices or at the prices, let's say, a week ago, you should just be automatically buying in every single week or, you know, twice a month, every single month, stuff like that. You have to make an automatic deposit investment into crypto in order to reap the rewards because not every single time most of the time you will actually fail at this but that's time in the market right so you can see just within the last year the damage has been done to bitcoin from 70,000 down to 18 or what was the lowest 17,000 70 to 17 now we're back above 21,000 just this large spike you can see here from 19,300 down to up to 21,300, up $2,000. And even if you start averaging within the last couple months, um, just since, let me X this out, just since June, guys, you're looking at June, July, August, September, four months, you could average out to two a month, so eight different deposits. Your average will be right around, what, right? Right here, 22,000. 21,000, who knows what your average will be. But as long as you keep averaging in, your average will go down over time if the, of course, if the asset in question is going down and go up over time if the asset in question is going up. But let's say we're stuck here for another year, right? That's gonna be a long time. But let's say we're stuck in this range from 25,000 to 18,000 for another year. And you're loading up on a year's worth of Bitcoin, and then all of a sudden we see a spike to 40,000, right? You will, your average will be so low compared to that spike, your average will be in the 20,000 range just because you've been at it for this long. And that 40,000, you'll double your investment. Even though you average on the way up, your most of your averages, most of your um, cost basis is in this range, right? 25 to 18,000. Now you can see this is the lowest it's been since December 2020. So about two years, um, you know, minus three months we're looking at here, and it's the lowest crypto has been. Of course, you want to start averaging in now if you have not already. Um, sure, there are low fees that go with it, but there's fees in general that come with buying cryptocurrency. So you're going to have to take that one way or another. And doing this you know, automatically without even thinking about it must be the best way to do it. So uh, that's just my opinion, guys. Let me know what you think. But with crypto, I say average in and don't really think about it too hard, right? You having ownership in these coins is better than most people putting it off and saying, well, you know, it's going to zero, right? Well, no one, obviously no one knows that. I don't think Bitcoin's going to zero. So I say Bitcoin has a higher chance of going fully recovering then down to zero and that's a nice risk reward you're taking right buying for twenty thousand goes up to seventy thousand well you just times three and a half your investment or it could go down to zero so it's a three and a half to one three point five to one and those are odds you want to take um any odds over basically two to one is what you want to take so that's just my opinion uh consistently invest in Bitcoin using automatic deposits, I think that would be your best bet, along with uh, some major altcoins if you're feeling up to it, Ethereum, uh, Solana, Avalanche, Chainlink, you could go to Binance Coin, uh, you can do whatever you want, but make sure Ethereum and Bitcoin are well covered, and you will be well off in the future, my friend, I think that is where you are headed. So that's the video, guys, thanks for watching, hopefully you stay consistent with these deposits, and I'll see you on the other side.